Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to make prefab shooting in Unity. I have this simple project with movement. I'll go over to the main camera and create a new 3D object cube. So this is going to be my gun placeholder. You can resize it and do whatever you want. This is where you should put your um, 3D model of a gun. I'll just use this for now. So it's going to be shooting out of the stick. And if you press play, it should stay with the camera obviously because you made it a child of the camera. And there's one more thing we need to do. Make sure to remove the collider. Okay, and now on the player, we can add a component and call it shooting. So the way prefab shooting works is it shoots an actual prefab of a bullet, which we'll create right now. We can, I'll just make it a cube for now as well, but you can, you can make whatever 3D model you want. And I'll just make it a bit smaller and reset the transform. Okay, so to make a prefab, just drag it into the assets area. And now we have our cube prefab and you can delete it from the hierarchy. So in the shooting script, we need um, a public game object called bullet prefab. And in the update method, we can just check if input dot get mouse button down and and in the brackets put keycode.mouse0 and in the back brackets just write mouse0 so this is going to be your primary left click button and if we click it we want to instantiate a bullet prefab and we'll also need another game object uh, or not a game object a transform and this is going to be our shooting point and this is where the bullet is going to start and be created so it's going to start here and it's going to go transform dot forward and make sure you get the get the position of the shooting point and for the last thing just write quaternion dot identity so it uses its current quaternion its current rotation i should say and after we've instantiated this we'll uh, set this to a game object called bullet and we'll get component of type rigid body of that bullet and we'll add a force going forward okay so once we've completed this we can come back into unity and there's a few things i want to change on the cube here make sure to add a rigid body and you can exit that and also let's move remove it from the player script and actually put it on your main camera so when you write transform dot forwards it's actually the direction you're looking so add the shooting script here the bullet prefab is going to be this and the shooting point go to your gun and create an empty game object and call it shooting point it doesn't really matter if it's uppercase or lowercase and just put it to the tip of your gun an alternative to this is to set it to the same position as your main camera so when you shoot it actually hits the center of your screen, but this is more realistic as it comes out the actual gun. And that's just what I'm gonna use here. It's up to you what you choose to do. And now in the main camera, set this shooting point as the transform. And now if we press play, let's see what happens. You get an error. Okay, so if you go to edit project settings, and if you check your input manager, here it should show you, here it should show you the different uh, buttons. So instead of mouse zero, we should write, fire one and now if we come back into unity close this window and try it out it should work if you have any issues just go to that menu and you'll find out which button you actually need to use so as you can see it does spawn in the bullet and now on the bullet well first of all we need to add a stronger force so i'll just multiply this by 100f for now and we'll see if this helps yeah so you can see it moving forwards you're ideally going to need a much stronger force i'll just change this to a thousand and I'll leave it at that. So now we need to create our cube script here, add a component and call it bullet. And this is gonna be our bullet script. And you can write on collision enter and this just uh, runs when it collides with something. You can destroy this game object. And this means that when it hits something now, it's going to disappear. So this is the very basic code to prefab shooting. And there's many more things that you can do like adding health scripts and things like that. So if you hit something a certain amount of times, it disappears. You can also add um, particle effects out the gun. You can also add hit effects. Let me know if you want me to make any more videos on this topic um, because there's a lot more you can do with this to make it much better. But this is just a quick video on the base code to get you started. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Leave some comments on what you would like to see next.